declarative programming paradigm so declarative programming paradigm is one of the traditional programming paradigms so either we follow many programming languages so that's the detail so declarative programming paradigm declarative programming paradigm in which the programmer defines what needs to be accomplished by the program without defining how it needs to be implemented so what you can do a task that you can do in this program. So, this task is accomplished. But, that task is not the program. Which means, it is already the programming language. So, you can do a workout output. So, you can do it. So, the program the program defines what needs to be accomplished by the program. So, what you can accomplish is that you can program without defining how it needs to be implemented. That is how you implement it, you can specify it and implement it. So, this is the next definition. This is the next definition. This is the imperative programming language and imperative programming paradigm. So, what is the definition of this? This is the imperative programming language. It is the motto of how you do it. So, how do you do it? That is the declarative programming language. What do you do? What do you do? So, this is the imperative programming language. The paradigm is the declarative programming paradigm. It is the main difference and only one difference. Next point is logic. Functional and domain specific languages belong under declarative paradigms. So, in the moon concepts, in the moon languages, specific languages, so declarative paradigms can follow other examples. Pathona, example programming languages, Pathona, HTML, XS, sorry, XML, CSS, SQL, Prolog, Lisp, it will me on the declarative programming paradigm style follow up under programming languages. And then Declarative code focuses on building logic of software without actually describing its flow. So, declarative programming paradigm used to define our languages on the flow on the define it. Okay, I mean, the task is this panna podo. So, and the other things are called the declarative programming paradigm style. Every na one enoda output on the which means in our task kundu in the output or no in the output kana they have a code and the code in the flow or ka yulia allowed the declarative programming paradigm style on the concept agad next one then anna for example with html you know on the html or image load for no nanching anna in the command go to the law so angular bracket image is actually not source equal to image or a location so you know on a browser now for no on the location like a image on the load point on the comic so, if you command it, you can use the image to load it. But, actually, it's not going to be used. So, if you command it, it's not going to be used. It's not going to be used. It's not going to be used. So, if you want to use the image, you can use the image. So, in the HTML, you can use the image. So, in the same way, you can use the dictator to programming paradigm style. So, 